Unit 1. Text 2. Restaurant Fair. Preview the magazine article below. Then underline the important words in the title. Then answer this question. What do you think this text is about? Paragraph 1 for restaurants then and now. Restaurants 100 years ago were very different from restaurants today. Let's take a look at three examples from Southern California. One is from the 1900s, one is from the 1950s, and one is from the 2000s. Paragraph 2. 1900s. The Royal Restaurant, Los Angeles, California. A hundred years ago in the United States, people ate a lot of food. <clears throat> they liked foods from home, and home was often the old country or a farm. People found food like this at the Royal Restaurant. The Royal Restaurant served a complete lunch. The meal included soup, fish, an entree, vegetables, dessert, and a drink. At the Royal Restaurant, people ate fricadellin and muskmelon. They drank buttermilk. Today, it is very difficult to find fricadellin, a kind of Dutch meatball, on an American menu. Muskmelon, a fruit, is now called cantaloupe. And today, very few people drink buttermilk, the liquid that is left after cream becomes butter. Paragraph 3. Paragraph 3. 1950s. The Mocambo, Hollywood, California. In the 1950s, more people in the U.S. had money to eat well. They were interested in foreign food. They were especially interested in French food. The Macambo in Hollywood was a typical fancy restaurant in the 1950s. Movie stars such as Humphrey Bogart, Clark Gable, and Judy Garland ate at the Macambo. The Macambo served the star's elegant dishes. For dinner, people often started with half of a grapefruit. They had lobster thermidor, Prince de Monaco, which is lobster in a sauce. The name of the <clears throat> The name of this dish came from a real prince who married a movie star. Some people had a French-style dessert called crepe Suzette. These are thin pancakes with an orange sauce. Today, Americans mostly eat grapefruit for breakfast, not dinner. Lobster Thermidor and crepe Suzette are old-fashioned dishes, but you might still find them on some menus. Paragraph 4, 2000s, 561, Pasadena, California. In the 2000s, Americans are trying to eat less. They are trying to eat healthy food, and they are interested in foods from all over the world. The 561 restaurant is an example of a modern restaurant. It serves healthy dishes and ethnic styles. For example, at 561 you can start with tuna tataki. This is a Japanese style salad with seaweed. Next you can have vegetable tagine Casablanca. This is a Moroccan style vegetarian dish. A meal at 561 costs twice as much as a meal at the Macambo in the 1950s, and it costs about a hundred times more than a meal at the Royal Restaurant in the 1900s. The important words in the title are restaurants then and now. What do you think this text is about? Some differences between restaurants today and restaurants in the past.